IVF industry has increased leap and bound in recent years. In many cases, only wrong or unhealthy lifestyle is responsible for infertility and the couple is advised to go for IVF. Let's discuss today with our IVF specialist whether in such circumstances one should take the big leap for IVF or not. Dr. Ichika Sahai Sukla, what is your opinion that in which circumstances we should go for IVF? So the question basically comes to all infertile patients in their mind or it's not infertile only, it's like all patients who are not able to conceive after marriage that when should they go for the IVF, when the IVF thing should come in their mind. So it's like every couple who has not conceived who are less than 33 years of age and one year they had unprotected intercourse with their spouses and uh, they are not able to conceive, they should see us. And if you are above 33, within 6 months you should see us. When you should see us, then that doesn't mean that you have to go for an IVF cycle. Basically, we investigate you. We investigate you and see whether, what is the problem, whether it is the problem with the male partner or the female partner or both. Whether it can be treated by medical conditions or you have to go for IVF directly. Because what matters more in an IVF cycle, when ultimately the patient goes for the IVF cycle, what happens? That already you have wasted so much time. Then what happens? Your egg quality decreases, your sperm quality decreases and the uterus also does have some hormonal changes when obviously your egg reserve is less so the uterus will also have changes. So this is an appeal to all the couples that you just please come out of your houses and you just try to see us if you are having any problems with conception. Coming to an IVF specialist just doesn't mean that we are going to take you for an IVF cycle. If you are seeing a gynecologist also, say females are seeing a gynecologist, they have had three IUI fails, then also do come to us. If you are facing problems with your menstruation like irregular bleeding, it, it may be due to fibroids or there might not be any cause of it. You may just might be having a DUB also, please come to us. Because that time we can guide you further rather than going here and there or not taking treatment at all, just don't do it. You might be having endometriosis, then also please see us because at least we can give you a time frame that when you should go for an IVF cycle. Plus all those males who are having some problem with their sexual life or their sperm counts are less, may, meaning to say they might be borderline counts also, so do see us because that time we can help you and we can further take you up for the cycle. And IVF, for IVF people should see us if they are elderly, elderly females, elderly male who have at least not conceived maybe for one or two years of their marriage, who are undergoing recurrent IUIs, who have undergone recurrent laparoscopy for maybe endometriotic cysts and all, please do see us for an IVF cycle because then we can guide you further whether the IVF is required or not. Yes, if you are bothered that your age is increasing and you are not getting pregnant, then definitely see an IVF expert.